all right so how did i get my page to supervise so are you interested to know stick to the end and watch the video today and if you're new to my channel welcome my name is peter Cecile. i'm a phd student at the university of Alberta in Edmonton, canada i'm very excited to have you in this channel we we'll talk about everything that has to do with you know phd research coming to school in canada finding a supervisor you know funding and accommodation and all of these things that you need to know that is really going to help you in your quest you know um, study down as a phd or a master student and then even as an international student as as well so let's get started are you ready to hear my story for today okay i know you're ready so let's go right into the story okay so i i, I started my masters in 2017 and then i by 2019 i was now writing my thesis and then you know about finishing my uh my thesis and then i was thinking of you know what should i do next do i want to work first or do i want to go phd straight up you know uh it's all left you know it's an individual choice um so depends on what works for you you want to finish first go work before coming to do your phd it's you know depends on your choice and your long-term plan and goals as well so for me uh, i always knew i wanted to do a phd and then you know but the question will not be where you know how do i find a supervisor or how do i do the application and all of all these things so those are some of the thoughts that you know were kind of played through my mind as i was about finishing my master's at memorial university and then thinking of the way forward but before then in that 2019 uh, i was opportune to attend a conference it was a Canadian Nutrition Society conference called CNS. Uh, in that conference, I was opportune to be an aura uh, presenter. There were, you know, people working in nutrition fields from all over Canada submitted their abstracts and then they ranked the top abstracts and then mine ranked the first you know among the top eight i was very very excited when i got that news to see that you know my name has been selected among the best eight abstract submitted for the conference so we have to do oral presentation and it's going to be a form of a competition and then all other abstracts are not going to go for um um go for poster presentation so you know i before then before I, I i submitted an abstract for for the conference you know the i i did some experiments and then you know just interpreted the data was really very challenging i had a lot of issues a lot of challenges with the experiment it was really very difficult you know at some point i thought oh, this data doesn't make sense to me you know so myself my supervisor we have to sit down to look at the data over and over and over and over again just to see you know to make sense out of the data to create the story out of the data actually when we submitted that abstract you know we're not really expecting that it was going to be selected for the top eight what we're hoping for okay the abstract has been you know selected for you know it's been accepted for the conference so we're not really expecting that it's going to be shortlisted for top eight and then it was shortlisted for the top eight and then you know there i did an oral presentation in front of all of these professors that was still the one of the biggest you know presentations i've ever had and then you know after the presentation i got you know a lot of feedback and comments like hey you did so well you know your presentation was amazing it was awesome i was like okay I'm, I'm very excited to hear that and then you know there's always a networking section right where you get to see other professors from other universities all around canada you know and then i met a lot of professors from the university of Alberta, university of toronto mcgill university mcmaster you know um university of british columbia university of manitoba university of regina saskatchewan you know there were industry people you know, a lot of people in the conferences so it's very good to have you know networking in those kind of you know um, um, um conferences so i you know kind of went around saw some research that people were doing you know and i saw the, I, I i really developed interest in some of the research that were being done at the university of Alberta. Uh, precisely the, the the lipid research that was being carried out I, I i did you know a lot of lipid biochemistry for my master so i was really very interested in you know uh continuing my lipid research so 
I got to know about some of the professors at the University of Alberta in that conference. You know, I even spoke to some of them, you know, uh, one, you know, one on one and some professors in some other schools as well, because as I then I haven't really decided, you know, what I'm going to do, like where, where I plan to maybe if, if I want to do my PhD, but I just kind of had all of these professors, you know, with the research that they, they, are, they are doing in some of these conferences. and. A lot of them got to really know me there because I did an oral presentation and then they saw me, you know, a lot of them knew my professor and after the award that I came out second, it was really very, very fantastic. And then in, in 2019, I was about finishing my, you know, I was now writing my thesis. Now was the time to, you know, I was thinking now I think I need to, you know, I started thinking about applying for PhD. I know that getting a research supervisor is a very, very, you know, sometimes you can be very fortunate. It happens very quickly. Some other times it can take a bit of a while, you know, just be patient. You know, because some of these professors, they receive a lot of emails from different people all over the world. So you just have to stand out, you know, and just continue in whatever that you're doing, you know, especially sending emails. Just keep sending, you know, if you send one, you don't get a response, keep sending. And then I remember, oh, there are, there are some professors at the University of Alberta that I really, really love their research. And so let me try to contact them, you know. Uh, it was actually my first contact. So I, I, I sent with my current supervisor now, I sent her an email and like, oh, I'm, you know, finishing my master's, you know, and I'm looking forward to starting a PhD. These are my experiences. This is my research. This is my thesis title. These are some of the things I, some of the skills I have, you know, I can do gas chromatography. I can do iron extraction. I can do polymerase chain reaction. I can do uh, gel electrophoresis. I can do cell culture, you know, so I just kind of highlighted some of these things that you know some of the skills that i've learned in my lab and i said oh i have a very i'm very proficient as well in in lipids particularly omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acid research and i sent that email to her and then you know i got a very good response that oh you know the response from the professor was yeah i just got funding for a project and then the project is actually a lipid uh, research is in cancer you know i was like yeah this is really something I'll be looking, you know, be looking forward to. It was just one email and that was it, you know. Uh, it wasn't really based on my expertise or because I sent the best email. It was just the right timing, you know. Uh, my professor was looking for someone for PhD at a particular point in time and needed someone with that lipid background. So I fitted in very well in that, you know, in the in in, in that to just fill that void and then you know be her PhD student. And then she was like, okay, you know, all right, let's communicate. And then we communicated. And then after then the following, you know, two weeks uh, after we communicated, she was like, okay, submit application for admission. And then I submitted application for admission you know and then she nominated me for the um, recruitment award which i got as i got the recruitment award i'm very grateful i got the recruitment award you know for like one year i got that that, that recruitment award you know of all of you know 2020 so that was my story of how i got my phd uh, supervisor so this is my story yours might work differently you might be sending different emails to different professors and it seems that they are not responding it's about the right timing just keep sending the emails you know uh, and make sure you you improve on the emails that you're sending you know and then just don't give up okay don't 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 give up just be consistent in your search be consistent in your approach if it's really something you want to do no matter how long it takes you're going to get it if you don't give up only those that endure to the end will be saved you know so keep trying keep trying just keep trying never give up definitely you're going to get it so here am i you know i uh, am um um currently you know in the second year of my phd and i would say it has been fantastic it has been amazing you know um just having that background for my masters and then using those expertise and the skills and all of the things i learned through my masters all of the lab work and all of these things you know coming to the phd is really a very fantastic and awesome thing so 
yeah that's my story so thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in the next video if this is your first time coming to my channel do it to hit the subscribe button so that we can you know get the subscriber to a million and then we can have all of the notifications and everything you know so that whenever new videos are released you'll be the first to get notified of my video so um leave a comment in the in the comment section what is your preferred university in canada which department do you plan to apply for um you can leave that comment in the comment section and then what has been your biggest challenge trying to get a supervisor for phd or for masters put it down in the comment section and then i will try to respond as as um as fast as i can you know and then uh, another question if you are expressing any challenge leave it in the comment section below and then you know if you've made any effort as well just put in the comment section and then we'll be able to look at it together if i can be of help to you i'll be so glad to help you thank you very much and thank you for watching this wonderful video i will see you in my next video have a wonderful day yeah thank you for watching that wonderful video uh if this is your first time on my channel do it to hit the subscribe button so that whenever new videos are released you'll be the first person to get notified of our videos thank you so much